Former Trump campaign chair Paul Manafort has been indicted on 12 criminal charges, including conspiracy against the United States. Or, as Fox News reported it, guy who once met Hillary Clinton at a dinner party has been indicted on 12 criminal charges. <laughs> Even though the charges do not relate to campaign activities, liberals around the world are celebrating the imminent demise of Donald Trump's presidency. Now the only thing standing in their way is for Manafort to agree to cooperate with authorities, for him to have evidence to implicate Trump, for Trump not to fire Mueller, for a Republican Congress to begin impeachment proceedings, and for the hate-filled forces of racism that gave rise to Trump to go away quietly. <laughs> So, if all goes according to plan, Trump could be out of the White House by January 2025. Of course, even if Trump is impeached, there is still Mike Pence and everyone else in the line of succession. However, nearly all of them are accused of also being complicit in Trump's ties to Russia. Save for 18th in line, Elaine Duke, Secretary of Homeland Security. <laughs> This leaves American democracy in serious danger of a worst-case scenario. Its first female president. <laughs> Panic over this possibility has gripped the halls of Congress with GOP Senator Marco Rubio saying, in these dire times, can we really trust a woman not to be emotional, vindictive, <laughs> and catty all the time? Sources say that Trump is ready for whatever charges Mueller lays against him, noting that the president has spent the past year establishing an airtight insanity defense. <laughs> With Trump's impromptu threats of nuclear war, incoherent Twitter account, and inability to differentiate between wife Melania and her endless supply of refurbished Michael Jackson body doubles, <laughs> experts say the president's claim to mental illness is, ironically, the only thing about him that's unimpeachable. Sadly for Trump, House and Senate Republicans are said to have a contingency plan in place for an insanity plea, moving the president into a different White House. <laughs> Insiders say Paul Manafort is unfazed by his indictment and is expected to do well in prison as a former lobbyist for the Latin Kings. <laughs> Between working for third world dictators and pro-Russia forces in Ukraine, Manafort spent a brief stint with a notorious prison gang, petitioning the government to loosen regulations around stabbing. <laughs> Manafort can also expect protection from Steve Bannon's buddies in the Aryan Nation. <laughs> Plus whatever prison status he can buy with the cigarettes he's been hoarding since Mueller's investigation began. While Manafort denies colluding with Russia, federal investigators are looking into allegations that he makes particularly good toilet borscht. <laughs> the Beaverton. All new episode Wednesday on Comedy.